Hey there, everyone. This is Al Calvin, Sonic 4 E2, and uh, what? Okay. So I was wondering about that, about Metal Sonic episode or whatever. I don't know. Why is this happening now? Or maybe it's not. <laughs> uh, okay, I I don't know why this is happening. Oh man, <laughs> is having a party though. So I don't know if I at first I didn't think I was going to play episode metal because when I I heard it was just going through the same acts again. However, in the comments yesterday. It was suggested that the level design is actually different, so now I kind of want to do it. What are those numbers mean? They're just very high numbers. Alright, but, uh, Mil Sonic gets it. His little Pinocchio nose. That looks painful. Like, such a painful way to get up. Check it out! It's he! <laughs> okay, oh. He's rushing though a little bit. It's like, oh no, yeah, we gotta. Oh right, Little Planet from Sonic CD. That's where that guy is. Episode Metal. I don't know. Find out in this look behind the scene of Sonic the Hedgehog Episode One. Okay, and yeah, it's and you're forced on a place. But here's the thing. So you know what? If the level design is actually different. I think I'll do it. I think I'll play episode metal. But I'll do it after regular. I think that's for the best, just so that we get new levels for now. And then at the end. And also it unlocked after I start. I don't know. To me that makes sense. Here we go. We got act three and then a boss. We will play this act. That is accurate. Gonna save a Moonlit Realm. Starting underwater. That fish is very confused about my presence here, and I am also am, so guess that means I'm a fish. Lay it on the platform, then follow that we got bugs, and we got shifting platforms. We are playing a platformer, allegedly. Now I'm somewhere up there, I'm gonna destroy this column. It broke apart. Uh, yes siree, that's what I have to add. Because of all the little lights everywhere. Oh, now we're doing this. Yeah! It's Buzzsaw Zone time! Okay. Oh wow, and it just kind of sticks. Am I just now just like a Buzzsaw forever? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna fight it, but it is weird. I cannot home in attack though. Well, I am a Buzzsaw. So, you know, good to know. It seems to be pretty strong, but it does have its limits, so. You know, consider that. All right, I guess we're going down here in the basement path. Ooh, if you hit a platform, it moves. All right, so that's important to notice. Check it out, it's me. I got a real that show. I don't know. I like the effect. It's a simple one, but it's it's neat. Oh, 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 simplicity often looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, like there's a little bit of context to that, but more often than not, I agree with myself on this. I'm gonna go up here a bit. Make it way further than I thought it. I, I love how there's just floating platforms in the background. Like, that's a nice touch. That's realistic. That's silly, though. I could do the platforming, or I can use the height gain from activating the platforms to platform. That's fun. Get out of here, column. Get in that pit. Start running, and then destroy a piece of wood. That grasshopper never had a chance. Da -da -da. We got a one up, by the way. And now I'm gonna be invincible. There you go. I just jump in the right way. Watch all those platforms as things to say, such as hi and where's my Gatorade. Very specific things to say. Okay. Well, whoa, and all the columns fell on each other. I get it. Oh, it's false. And I jump. All right. You gotta hit the thing. Go around the loop. Uh, Hear a little air bubble push sound effect, because even though I have a shield, well, I still have to have air. Alright, now we're somewhere. Bop the thing. Alright, hit this thing multiple times. Maybe you're supposed to use, like, turbo mode and saw blade zone mode, but I guess I'm not. I mean, it's- oh, hi, little sign there. You're making it obvious that there's a death pit there. 
I appreciate it. Because if there's one thing we all know about Dim's level design, is that that's not always a certainty, which is a weird thing when you think about it, but... We live in a strange, weird, rural world. Uh, yeah, those sentences came out all right. Uh-oh. Okay, see here, there wasn't a warning sign, and I didn't die. We are learning something about us today, and that's... I could probably just have flown. Ooh, that looks nice. Uh... Yeah, and you can tell that I did not have any trust at all for what was shown to me. I was like, whoa, what is going on? I, I don't know. How can you tell when you can go on it and when you can't? I don't know. And so I have used my lack of knowledge to determine what was the correct course of action going forward. What am I talking about at this point? Who knows? We're going to run down a half pipe, though. Welcome to some grandmother's rug. Uh, hell yeah. I need a hundred rings while I run through a tube. Can I get a hundred rings while I run through a tube? Gonna go across the tube. Look at those red lights on the tube. Mood lighting. It's the best thing. That's what I claim. I guess I was supposed to go up there. All right, well, I got a hundred. Just barely. A little bit more than just barely. No, it's fine. I have the ability to retry! Yeah, Tails, I'm faster than you! Wow! What a shock! Two hundo! Here we go! Jump over the sparks and become a glove. Why? Alright, we're just going here on another... I, like, I could have dodged around that dude, maybe. Like, you don't know. It's like a split path that you, like, you don't know what's in the split. Okay, we're gonna go on this. Yeah! Oh, that was fun. That was pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. All the rings. There we go. Yeah, soda bombs will make you lose rings, but not those weird sparky things. Uh, have a logo show up and tell you cool. Uh, that's how you know you're doing good. If, if, if you're ever doing anything in real life out there and you don't have a logo pop up telling you cool, I mean, I think you messed up. Yeah, now we get the, the setter. I remember reading about that in the instruction manual that comes with the game. Whoa! I'm off by one, somehow. Yes. The way I, yeah, there's a rack of 10 coins on the side there. I didn't see that the first time. Uh, that would have been more than enough to make me win the first, but you know, I didn't see them. Like, they're hiding in plain sight amongst other round yellow parts. It's not obvious at this perspective necessarily that they're bigger. And they have a number inside their inside. Well, here we go! We are 3-4-3 three, three in terms of zone completed and gems eaten. So, doing pretty good. Sonic and Tails' head just appear there, flashing in the white void, which is what you want for best performances, uh, and I unlock that thing. Whatever it may be, it's boss time! I did not have time to read the name on the bottom. I was looking elsewhere on screen. To this day, oh, you're giving me a weirdly high amount of rings, considering if I get bopped at any point, everything's just gonna drop. Sonic isn't moving, he's just waiting, check it out, here's a Norb looking ship, he goes away, we just kind of let him back and we let that happen. Alright, more rings. Oh, are we doing, having an advanced 2 boss fight? That's the vibe I'm getting. No. There's just... Oh, I'm on this Owl Zone. Welcome to Owl Zone. Owl Zone and big old spike things. What? Okay. Hi there. 
Uh, this took a turn. What do I do? Okay, you opened up. Did I hurt you? I might have hurt you. Okay, there I hurt you. Jeez, uh, like you just kind of wave things around. And I'm like, okay, what's happened though? I don't know, at the Garden of Robotnik, things have, like, why is he shaking? He's making the tendrils dance, like it's a beautiful dance. I'm not gonna complain about that, I'm just hopelessly confused about what's going on. Like, why? I mean, yeah, so the tendril there has a stop move, but it's very telegraphed. Oh, but there it telegraphed with the other. Okay. If I go here, you are aiming for me. I'm guessing I'm supposed to hit it once it's on the ground. But, okay, there I tried the homing attack, but it didn't do. Unless you're, like, you just want this to happen? Whoa! Uh, well, that... Like, can I not attack these tendrils at all? Is that what you're saying? Okay, okay, so I guess that's what you expect out of me then. Just fly above- like, I don't know, for some reason I kinda didn't think that would be it. But I guess it is. Just fly over the boss. Now there's more tendrils. Oh no. Flight stop. Alright, well I, I need to wait until um, he opens up. You open up your flower. I might die. It might happen. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's neat that you have to you. Okay, you can stop. But I just wish the fight itself was a bit more coherent. Because again, like, I'm probably gonna die. In spite of giving me, like, all the resources available in the universe. But yeah, I find... So, like, I don't know if it's just me. Oh, it's Robotnik's new creation. I find it very hard to follow where those tendrils are in space. Again, it might just be me and my weird thing with 3D-ness. But, like, I genuinely kind of struggle to see where they are, so I, I just, my strategy is to go, okay, it's somewhere around here. This is not necessary to redo, by the way, but hey, that's what we're doing. Alright, so first, there's the old columns, you know, kind of a callback to Sonic the Hedgehog 2, then this happens, yeah, like, there's, there's a lot happening here. Like, that's supposed to be, like, sort of a, an explanation of what's going on, I guess. Things like, whoa, you know, it's me, it's Robotnik, I'm Robotnik, do you know that? I didn't know that. It's a good way to learn. Alright, so... Whoa, nice homing attack there. Damn, so, like, I have to unfly, like, right next to him or something. Now you're inside the flower, and then Tails gets tired, because Sonic, I don't know how heavy he is. Like, I can't assume he's that heavy, but, like, in order to sustain... Why is the homing attack so bad? Like, it is ridiculous. Alright, so be way closer to the ground than feels reasonable. And that just phase through anyway, because he's dancing, I guess? Cannot interrupt. Oh wait, I still had a homing thing there. But no, his flower bulb is like full of spikes. Like of course you can't hit him there. How? How though? Like, is it just me? Is he more in the background? See, no. Like he looked in the background there, but I could homing attack him fine. This is weird. Okay, the flowers are going away. Well, the tendrils are going away. Okay, uh... I don't know what's happening, actually. Uh-huh. What's happening? Oh, jeez! Betrayal! Why? Why does this ha- Oh! He's feeding from them? That's so gross. Alright, well, he's got, like, a big laser thing move that he wants to do. I'm not gonna let him do it. This lasts a while. 
just gonna say it. Like, there's a lot of moves that are kind of languid in their motion, and it looks cool. It looks super rad. Uh, but you are kind of looking at things. Go, I mean, okay, uh, for a first boss, that's totally okay. It's on the easier side, uh, which makes a lot of sense. All these birds are packed up. Tiny penguin, the same size as, like, a blue jay, sure. Um, Tail's taking a set. But yeah, I, so... It, a lot, when I was first starting, every time I tried to do a homing attack, I was much too high. So this is a learning moment. That means that whenever I want to do that, I don't want to be above, which is what feels natural to me because I'm used to Mario. You need to be like to the side to ensure that you can get a homing attack on. But you know what? Fair and now we get choices. White Park and the Desert have been on court for me. And it went on White Park first. I guess that's where I'm gonna go next. I might forget. I don't know. Look at that. You got like 3D polygon instruments of industry all over the place. So Casino Park being a uh, fairground this time is a nice, you know, you get the same flavor, but you get things a little bit different. That's pretty nice.